Welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we are going to go ahead and build the first uh, a, a Django project. So what we're going to build is we're going to build a simple Django uh, REST framework. So this is going to be a, a series of tutorials. So I'm going to be uploading this series, uh, uh, the tutorials in the series once I'm done recording them. So this is going to be the first tutorial, and I'm going to I'm just going to show you what you're going to build. So we're going to build a uh, CRUD API using Django REST framework and Django itself. So this is a simple, very very simple API that you're going to build, and this is just the front page. I'm going to demonstrate you what you're going to build and then we'll install the libraries and then the next draw will begin to code so this is what you're going to build basically so these are the the, the this, this is the uh, basically the the front end of the application using uh django rest framework so you can see the different uh to do so it's going to be a to do api so it's going to be api that is going to store to do's and then it's going to return the to do's to you whenever you make a request to the back end so this is going to be the front end whatever you get whenever you go to the web page okay so you can able you can be able to log in over here or you can be able to register so let me just show you how to register and then we'll begin to go so let me just show the registration this is a register registration so if you sorry for that uh, i made a mistake yeah so registration so if you click on this registration route it will bring you to this route. so if you fill in your username maybe you say hello uh hello underscore world and then here you fill in your password a bit so i'm going to call my password uh secret and then i'm going to now call this uh my, fill in my any email so i can just fill in any email here i can say test user or i can just say um i can just say uh maybe hello uh hello world and then world like this and then i can go ahead and actually make a post uh, a post request so i'm going to make a post request and that's going to submit the uh, the result at the back end and you're going to get the whatever you're sending back so you can see we have our username right there and then we have our email followed by it so we can go ahead and actually begin to log in let me show how to log in so you just have to go in here and then you can just uh, supply your usernames again so it's going to be uh, hello underscore world and then you can supply in here your pa your, your your secret password and then you can simply uh, log in so this is uh, uh, going to log us in and if you log in this is what you're going to get right now this is going to uh, not return to anything so what you're going to go you're going to go ahead and go to the front end so if you go to the front end you now be at the bottom here you can see we have this form and you can fill this form when you make a post request the form will be the data will be added right here so let's go ahead and actually add that let's say uh uh go let me say go to the gym or something like that go to the gym go to the gym and then here you can certify uh go to uh, go to the gym uh gym uh, maybe ali ali in the morning or something like that and then we can go ahead here and you can see whether it's completed or not so you can say it's not completed and we can provide in the date which you want uh, we want that to happen so you can click on this and then we provide in the date maybe let's say maybe sorry it's gonna be the 26 okay and then you can go ahead and hide and uh, click on submit okay so if you click on submit you can see it has been uh posted to our back and it has been returned to us so if i just refresh this uh sorry if i just go back uh sorry if i just cancel this and i'll just go back and you can see uh it's here and we have it right here you can see it has been added to the to do so that's how basically it and then also we can get the, the specific to do so if i do to tokens so if i do to do's uh to do's and then first like if i specify the id of that to do and i submit you can see i have that to do right here uh, only that to do in the page and i can update it and i can do different things so you can say uh in the in the afternoon so in the afternoon just like that and then i can make a submit to the back end so i can just make a post request to the back end and it's going to be submitted to the back end and here i can go and actually delete that if i want so i can delete it or i can do something with it. so i can click on delete and it's going to delete it so if i go back uh to our to do's and then i won't see that right there so if i just click on to do's uh, you can see it doesn't show up right there so that's basically it for it so and you can also do uh, can also do token so you can do uh so slash if you do first slash api for slash uh token i believe so you can say token and then refresh this and you provide in your username and your pa underscore world and then we can provide in our password here our password was a secret and then we can just make a post request and that is going to provide us a uh, token access and uh access and uh, refresh token so that's basically the api that you're going to build using django or uh, uh, django rest framework uh library so we can also do, i'm also going to show you how to use this using uh postman so postman will help you to do the same stuff uh, in here so you can do authentications we can do uh, so you can we can authenticate ourselves and we can get back the access token the refresh
refresh token you can get back the data that you are interested in so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial so you guys if you, if you like this give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll be posting the future videos so for this video i'll go ahead this is actually the source code i'll actually go ahead and actually install this okay and and it gets started so i'm going to go ahead and actually create the project folder that you're going to use and install the basic libraries so in the next row we can begin to code so i'm going to make a directory here i'm going to make a directory feel free to make a directory using the, the windows framework if you're using windows feel to use the gui or anything that you're comfortable with i'm just comfortable using the terminal system on linux uh it's much easier that way so i'm going to make a directory called um django api uh series okay just like that and i'm going to create that directory okay so now that directory is going to be created i'm going to go ahead and actually change my directory uh change into that directory so django api series and then i'm going to change into that directory so i'm in here and i'm going to create a virtual environment so i'm going to do python and then uh, uh dash m v e n v and then v e n v so i'm going to call my virtual environment v e n v so i'm going to press enter and that's going to go ahead and actually create for me that uh virtual environment so uh python dash m v e n v uh v e n v so it gives, gives me an error so let me just see python 3 uh dash uh dash m v e n v and then v e n v so run that so uh, that should create for us the virtual environment and once the virtual environment is created we can go ahead and actually install the libraries that we are going to install so i have already created a list uh, uh, this project here on my direct on my github page and i've just submitted it a few minutes ago i've just uh, posted it a few minutes ago so you're going to install django so i just going to copy this you can just follow along and you can simply copy this and then paste it in your uh, once the virtual environment is created so i'm going to go here now the virtual environment is created so i'm going to go um I'm going to go ls and i can see that folder there called vnv and that's our python virtual environment so it goes source uh, vnv first slash bin first slash uh uh, for slash activate so if you're on windows right this might not be this uh, how you activate your virtual environment and stuff so if you're on windows there are commands i have, I have not posted commands but i'll post commands and or you can just research about it it's very very simple how to post how to create a virtual environment in windows and actually activate it but if you're on linux and macbook then this should have worked for you if you're on windows just do a simple google on how to create a virtual environment using windows if i remember i'll make an update to my virtual environment folder sorry my uh, markdown folder and uh markdown file and i'll update it here okay so sorry for that if you're on windows and then uh, now i can go ahead and actually install that virtual uh, that django so i just copied it from here uh just copied it from let me just bring this i just copied it from here and i simply pasted it in here and i'm going to run that to uh install it so it's just going to take some time and it's going to install once that is installed we can go ahead and actually create also um you can also install the Django REST framework. So I'm also going to copy that and I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, uh, install it right after this has completed. So make sure that your virtual environment is activated before running this code. And once this is done, we can go ahead and actually run the code to also install Django REST framework. Once that's done, we can go ahead and actually begin to create our Django project and then begin to uh, uh, state, start to set up everything. And then in the next tutorial, we'll begin to actually run things and then uh, begin to code. So now that Django is installed, great. So you can go ahead and actually install Django REST framework. So Django REST framework is a, uh, the, the framework that you're going to use for performing our backend uh, API stuff. So Django REST framework is a Django framework that is used for performing uh, CRUD functionality using our uh, API. So it, uh, it provides us with a, a lot of uh, libraries and uh, stuff that are pre-built that we can just use uh, right of the box. So now we have installed Django. I'm going to go ahead and actually create an app called Django uh, admin start CRUD. So I'm going to go ahead and actually paste that here and you can find this on my GitHub page. So I'm going to go ahead and actually cl uh, click uh, run that. And then that's as a, uh, has already created for us a project called CRUD API so django uh, hyphen admin start project and then you specify the name of the project that's how you start a django project so django hyphen admin start project pro start project is one word and then space and then uh, the name of that project okay i call my crud api you can call yours anything so i'm going to change that directory into my crud api so i'm going to change directory into the crud and then now that i'm in here i'm going to now run a command so i'm going to say python manage python 3 python3 uh, manage.py and then we can say uh, so we can go ahead here let me just go ahead and copy this from here so that we don't get any error so we're going to create an app here called uh, start uh, start to do so i'm just going to copy just this part so it's just going to uh, bring that here it's a django uh, 
Django ma Django Python 3 manage.py and then manage.py is this file here. So we're going to say start up. So we're going to now start our Django application. So we have created a folder, a Django project, which is called CRUD. And instead of that, you're starting a Django app called uh, CRUD, uh, called a uh, to-do list. So that's basically it. So if I just grab my terminal, I can do ls and I can see that folder right there. So we can go and actually start this app. So you can go Django uh, Python 3 and then you can go manage.py and then you can say, um, run server so you can go run server this is how to start a development server in Django so this is going to start up a Django server and it's going to run uh, I have, have it, an error so port is already in use so the reason why port is already in use is because I'm running this here so I'm just going to close this and then uh, clear this up and then uh, come back here and then I'll uh, start this again so I'm going to start this server again and it's running at localhost at port 8000 so they just copy this URL and then paste it in your browser and then you can see that works so I'm just going to paste it uh, create uh, create paste it right here so i'm just going to select all of this and paste it right there and then press enter and it's going to just bring us the default django setup uh, project so i'm just going to paste that here so i didn't copy it properly so i'm just going to go back to my terminal again and then um I think I pressed the wrong button, so I start the development server again, and then this is uh, copy this. So just go ahead and I copy this, and then go back to your terminal and uh, paste this right here, and then you press enter. So it's going to show up the default Django page. So this is how you start a simple Django app. So in the next tutorial, you're going to go ahead and actually get to coding our Django uh, API using uh, Django REST framework and Django itself. So guys, see you in the next tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial so far, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you in the next. Keep safe.